Okay, this is the instructions to for the lab practical question that we'll be performing this week. First, you're going to get a setup. You're going to have the two glasswares like this. You're going to remove your flask with the two connectors, and you'll remove the flask that is connected in between. And then you have one hose, if you'll notice. You'll have one hose that's, let's see if I can get this in the camera properly, that's going to be open be able to have the water flow through. So when you get this, you're going to have the middle flask, you're going to uncork the middle flask, and you're going to fill this middle flask with water. You want to make sure you fill it with water. Uh, let me get this in the camera. You want to fill it as close to that tip as possible, to the edge. So you're going to fill it completely, the flask, and you're going to close that. So the water should be filled all the way to the top. So you have water. This is a water displacement device. Then you're going to have this hose with, that's going to have no end. Let me back up a little bit with my camera so you can see it a little bit better. You're going to have it, uh, the flow, so you're going to have it flow right directly into a beaker. Otherwise, if you don't put that into a beaker, that water that's going to flow outward is going to flow all over the tabletop. So you have it all set up there. This is going to be where you're going to put the chemical and the two chemicals that you used. One's going to be in a Dixie cup. You have the solid CaCO3, and then you have your hydrochloric acid. You're going to fill the reaction. You're going to fill the hydrochloric acid. You're going to measure and fill the hydrochloric acid in here. So you need about 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. You're going to put in here. Then you need to put water in this beaker. The reason you're going to set this hydrochloric acid in that water is because it is an exothermic reaction, it gets a little bit warm. So we want to make sure that we have water in there to cool it down. It doesn't need to be ice water, it just needs to be a little bit of water. So you have your hydrochloric acid, 20 milliliters, you put it into the beaker. And then when you're ready, you're going to drop, if you or your lab partner are going to drop the solid that's been pre-measured for you. You're going to drop it into the flask, and you're going to quickly cap the flask. You're then going to watch that as you have a production of gas, which in this case is CO2 being produced, the gas is causing the water to di displace into the beaker, the displacement beaker. By measuring the water amount in this beaker using a graduated cylinder for, for accuracy, you're able to then be able to calculate how much or figure out how much gas is being uh, released because this is a closed, closed system. And you'll be performing this lab 